Do you want to have a shallow depth of field outside in the bright sun? Well, you may want to consider getting a variable ND filter. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. If you want one-to-one -one personalized training or to just support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. We appreciate the support. So this variable ND filter is something that you're going to want to use whenever you're recording outside and perhaps it's really bright, but you want to be able to record at a low f-stop and perhaps get that shallow depth of field that you're seeking. So you want to make sure that you purchase a size that's going to fit your lens because as you know, lenses are different widths, they're different sizes. So you want to make sure that you're getting one that's going to fit the lens you plan on using. This is a variable ND filter because you can see that after after I would screw it on a lens, I can then twist it to then get darker. So then that way I can get it to be at, as dark or as light as I need it to be in order to get to the f-stop that I'm desiring. This is what makes it a variable ND filter. There are ND filters that are just two stops down or one stop down, but this one is extra special because it is that variable ND filter that then gives us that bit of a range, makes it nice. So then that way you can have this one filter to then work for many different uses outside. So if you have any questions about this variable ND filter, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to purchase yours today, please look in the description for a link to our equipment recommendation page where you can find this under cords and accessories. And thank you so much for watching. Till next week, stay engaging.